Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here. Welcome back and today we are going to be taking a look at something really awesome and that is the vending machine in vanilla Minecraft. Essentially this is an advanced player shop in which you place a specific item in, you select an item from the list and you will get your output. It works very well, looks pretty good and also it is fairly compact so let's take a closer look at it. So let's give this a quick tester to see that it is all working and to show you how to operate this machine. So you know me, I want to buy a boat. So what we're going to do is go down to the input area. You can see one diamond pliz and we're going to place our diamond in there and hit that button. And you should be able to hear a little ding. I think I've got my sound turned off. I don't know if you heard that or not. But anyway, we just hit this button here and that will send off the boat. And then we should be able to get this in the chest. There it is. I will quickly run you through some of the limitations of this design before we get into the nitty gritty redstone stuff. First off, you can only buy one item at a time, you cannot get stacks of items all at once, and also you can't pay in bulk. You can't put a bunch of diamonds into that dropper down there and just keep spamming the button because it won't be able to keep up. So those are some of them, but now let's take a look at the redstone behind it. One thing that you must remember. Don't panic. There looks like there is quite a lot of redstone here. Loads of things going on and tangles of redstone wires going all over the place. I know it does look a little bit daunting, but really this is a very simple mechanism. If you think it through, all it's got is an item detection system and a bunch of droppers to drop some items off. It really is that simple, it's not that hard to build, and once you get down to it, you will find it very easy, and it certainly shouldn't take too long. So without further ado, let's crack straight on with this tutorial. So you want to get things started with a 6x6 area. The first thing that we're going to be doing is the button. So you want to go three blocks up like this, and then create a 2x3 area and place your buttons a bit like that then go down beneath and place a block up like this with a repeater and another block with a repeater and then go up here and place two blocks so you can see the buttons there if you hit one of them we'll get an output through this repeater and you want to do the same thing at the top so just like that then over here just want to place a block here and then a dropper facing in this direction and a dropper facing in that direction and then take out that block and then you want to do the same again so that is a dropper facing here and a dropper facing in this direction next you want to head over to your droppers and place some glass like this and then create an area around them so that your items can't fly out anywhere now it doesn't have to be glass but i think it looks the best i certainly prefer it to any other block then you want to go out around the front and place a block like this and then a block down beneath with a chest there then you can remove those blocks if you want to and then a block like this and a block there and you just want to grab a dropper so you actually want to take those out and place a dropper facing in this direction but then anyway you want to head around the back and run some hoppers into that chest just going along like this and then a hopper running down into that hopper and two hoppers going across like this it is a very expensive build when it comes to hoppers so make sure you've got a lot of them we are now going to do the item detection system so you want to go over to this dropper here and place a wooden button above it. I like to use a wooden button because it prevents people from spamming your dropper but anyway you now want to place four temporary blocks going along like that. Take those three out and place three hoppers running along in this direction and they are going to be running into a chest then you want to place a block here and once again a hopper running into that block then take out that block there and go down underneath here take out these two blocks and this block over here and place a chest down there with a hopper running down into that chest now for our item detection you want to place a comparator running out from this hopper two pieces of redstone dust a repeater a half slab with redstone dust on the top and then another piece of redstone take out this block and place a redstone torch and you have got the mechanism all set up before you forget I would suggest placing the items into this hopper here so what you want to do is grab your payment this is what the player is going to be using to pay for their things and you want to place that in the first slot and then for all of the other slots you can place an invaluable item that will have a funny name that no one will be able to guess because if someone did happen to come along and place a bunch of dirt blocks into that dropper and send them through the uh, system with the name don't guess this then the system would think it was a diamond and let it slide which you don't want to happen so like I say make it something obscure that no one is going to be able to guess. 
Then, coming out from this piece of redstone dust, you want to place a repeater, a block, another repeater running into a sticky piston with a block on top, and that will create a monostable circuit that we're going to be using as our T flip flop. But now for the closing circuit, you want to take a comparator output from this hopper, replace this block with a half slab, redstone dust there, a repeater running into a block, and then place some redstone dust on top of this block. Now you want to go over to your left hand side, go over to where these hoppers are and take a block out like this, place a sticky piston facing inwards with a block on top and then another sticky piston facing inwards with blocks on their faces, then you can take out that block and what you will see is that if this piston were to extend it would go in front of this repeater, meaning that that repeater could then power this dropper so your items come out, so you want to repeat the same thing on the other side, go out from these hoppers and then place a sticky piston, a block and then a sticky piston with blocks on their faces, remove the temporary blocks and that's you done. Go around the back and from this monostable circuit you want to place a repeater and then blocks up like this and blocks running round and into this block here with redstone dust on the top of all of those. Then from here you just want to place an upside down half slab just a bit like that with redstone dust on the top. Grab your sticky piston, place it there and then a cauldron with water inside of it, a comparator and that will be running into a block with redstone dust on the top and that is the entire mechanism almost complete. There is one little detail that you may want and that is the note block down at the bottom. I will quickly show you how to do this just in case anyone is wondering. You just want to place three blocks along like that, grab a repeater and then redstone dust there, a dirt block and that is going to be running into a note block and then you can set the note that you want it to play when it is ready for the trading. All that's left to do now is a little bit of decorating, perhaps you could rename these items so that they give specific commands, for example that one, and the take your stuff thing. I think those are pretty nice, but that is all of it done. Just as a heads up, this chest down at the bottom here is where all of the junk goes, people that have tried to put other items in that aren't diamonds, and the diamonds will end up in this chest down at the bottom, so that is where you can find those. But now all you have to do is fill in these droppers with the items that you want to be selling, and that that is you all done. But unfortunately, that is all I've got time for for today. So if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.